Here we go. I've powered the device already. Mm, in this video view, I will not cover the hardware anymore. I, I have done this in one of the previous uh, video views. But here I want to show you how the latest software development look. So here we go with a typical uh, Windows Mobile Professional Today screen. Uh, as you can see, the screen is a little bit longer. This is because it is a white VGA screen, uh, which is 800 pixel on this side. And let us open the device and check if the rotation switches faster. And as you can see, it's super fast now. Uh, before it was somewhat slow, but with this latest build, the orientation switches on the fly super fast. So here Sony Ericsson together with HTC did some real improvements. So let us have a look here on the panels. There are not too many panels available yet, but uh, as Sony Ericsson has released this SDK, I'm quite sure we will see some more panels in the near future. So let us open this panel. This is one of the pre-implemented Xperia panels. So actually it features this clock. Uh, oops, tapped wrong. Enable Bluetooth now. Uh, here you can enable or disable different functionalities. So this is a very basic panel. So let us go to the next one, which provides you way more information. For instance, this one. So here you have a full calendar, here you have the, the time, you can select the, the city, uh, you can add some RSS feeds here. Here on the bottom you have the recently used applications and you can, you can change pretty much here, so you can configure it however you want it. Here you have the web feeds. Unfortunately Sony Ericsson missed to add uh, the unwired feed. Okay, so here you have the launcher where you can uh, select file shortcuts, set speed dial and so on. So here you have pretty much to configure if you want. Another Sony Ericsson typical panel is this fish panel, where you have a kind of aquarium on your screen, and if you tap a fish, he moves. Another panel which is somewhat new is this multimedia panel here. And with this panel you can scroll here through some of your contents. For instance, you can open music here. You can play the music directly from here, I think, or here I have the album. Here we go.
Yeah, actually this is quite a nice panel, so it gives you quite a good access to your multimedia content and as you have seen you can play a photo slideshow uh, with background music. So last but not least here we have another panel which is uh, the FM radio panel and to run the FM radio you can see it here you have to plug in the earphone so since this is a, uh, still a prototype device I don't have a earphone yet but it doesn't matter the Xperia uses a standard headphone jack here so let me pop in my iPod headset and now it should work as an antenna for the radio So actually, as you can see here, with this radio today, uh, the radio supports RDS as well. Let us do a search for another channel. So here you have Bion 2, next channel, Bion 5, Bion 1, whatever this is. Radio Energy. And as soon as you remove the headset, the radio turns off. So, so far that's uh, the panel uh, the implementation. So now let us do a look on the start menu what we have here and here you can see on the programs let me go there opera browser so it wasn't clear from the beginning if the sony ericsson xperia x1 will feature the opera browser but it's now confirmed that sony ericsson is adding the opera browser to the device so let me open it and as you can see from this already it's Opera Mobile 9.5 here we go and Sony just added some yeah let me call it panel favorites to the browser nevertheless you can open here or let, it, let me do it this way here we go and now let us serve the web Actually, it's what you expected from Opera Mobile 9.5. So, on this widescreen display, you get a beautiful view of the websites. Here we go. Let me select this story. Looks like 